Hello team. Well, it's been a little while. Um, I haven't really done anything with my personal training course thus far, so I thought I may as well start. And today I'm going to be taking you through a little bit of a booty workout. Now, if you want to have me as your trainer, there's one thing that you need to know. I don't like hit classes. So um, personally, I just don't really want to do them too much. Um, but also, if you don't get your technique right, then if you're doing an F45, any of those kind of 30 on 30 off type of classes um, that involves body weights or strength, um, it's more than likely that you're probably going to get injured. So my type of training is a little bit different. I like to do my exercises properly, um, but you will reap the rewards from that. And it's also just really enjoyable for those of you that don't want to smash yourself in a session. So let's go. So the first exercise today is going to be a squat. So what I want you to pay attention to when you are squatting, you want your feet a little bit wider than hip width, okay? So you don't want to be too wide, but you don't want to be too narrow either. So just a nice kind of comfy stance so you can move around comfortably. Okay, you want your feet facing forward, and then as we put our arms out behind your head, wherever you want it, and we're coming down, you want to make sure your knees are tracking out over your toes, okay? So they're not collapsing in, we're not going too wide out, they should with your feet facing on a 45 degree angle outwards, especially for women, your knees should track nicely over those toes down and then come back up. So from the side view, wideish stance, legs a little bit wider than hips, feet out on a 45 degree angle and you want an even weight throughout all of your feet, through your toes, through your heels, not on one or the other. Pushing your bottom back, getting low, and then coming back up. As you can tell, my femur is huge, so I look a little bit awkward when I go down. Looking down, making sure those knees are going out over your toes as you're pushing back up. Now notice when you get down to here, what I don't wanna see is this little dip of the butt here, okay? So down there is too low, all right? Once that happens, it means your glutes are disengaged and they're no longer working, so. I just want you to go as low as you can by looking in the mirror, by maintaining this, as soon as it starts to duck under like that, little dip, we come back up, we call that a butt wink, and we don't want that, all right? So the first set will be 15 squats. So the next exercise we're going to do is the lunge. So we want to build up still our glutes, but a bit more of our quads and get a bit of unilateral strength, which will help you more if you're trying to improve your running. So how do we do our lunge? Coming down, one knee, you want this directly underneath your body, okay? So you're not too far forward, you're not too far back, okay? 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Tuck that back toe under bit tricky this is where you got to activate the glute on the bottom leg and you got to squeeze this part of your body as well and coming straight up Ooh, a bit hard to balance and then you come straight back down see how that knee's tracking up and down shifting back see that was too far forward then catch myself out so we shift straight up and then straight back down all right so you should be squeezing both glutes up at the same time to keep you balanced. You'll notice if you're only squeezing one glute, you'll probably tip over the other way. So if you're falling over to the right, squeeze that right glute to help you go up straight. All right, we're gonna do 12 each leg. Leg underneath, leg out, 
flicking that toe underneath, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, up we come, good, Ooh, wobbles, and down. So the other thing to look out for when we do this is that your knee stays out over your toe, you don't want your knee collapsing in. So see how we go up and down, knee stays out, okay? Our knee, this is what we don't want to see. If you're doing this and that knee's collapsing in, you're going to hurt yourself. So keep that knee out. Imagine you're pushing it against something as you're coming up and that will help your knee track the right way up and down. 12 again. exercise is the hip thrust or the glute bridge all right this activates your glutes helps strengthen them to activate and what that is going to do is help protect your lower back so if you have a lot of back issues then this exercise is the one for you so come down with me lying on your back okay leg probably yeah two fists maybe three see where you're comfortable um legs shoulder width apart Okay, and so what we're going to be doing is putting all of our weight through our heels, ribs in, holding your belly. So if you cough, <coughs> that makes your core turn on. So you can feel that that should be harder or more on than what it usually is. And then from there, what we do is push through our feet, squeeze through our glutes and come up to this position here. Once we are up here, what I want you to do is hold it for two seconds. One two and come back down what a lot of us do in this exercise is that we come up and down and up and down and we're not always activating the glutes the right way how do you know all right so coming up you should be able to feel your glutes here and they should be tight or hard and under here should be loose so if your hammies are tighter than here you're not doing the exercise properly. So what I want you to do is come back down, spread your feet out a little wider with your feet facing outwards. All right, what this is gonna do is activate your outer glutes, push down through the heel, coming up into a thrust, and you should be able to feel that in your glute. Hold it for two, one, two, come back down. Very good, and we're gonna do that 15 times. Let's go. Now what we're going to do to finish off is just a couple of core exercises. Now, I'm not one to do abs. If you do your weights properly and if you do them with proper weight, then that, by turning your tummy on before you do every exercise, will actually help you build a six pack. But any core exercises that I do do will always engage my back muscles and my front muscles 
at the same time. So you want to have your whole core. You don't just want to use your six pack here because that doesn't protect your spine and the rest of your body. And if you're too strong at the front here, you're actually going to end up injuring your back. So what we're going to do is just go into a prone hold for a minute. And if you can't hold it, then you can take breaks. So come and join me and I'll show you how. We're going to climb down. So obviously down onto our elbows coming up onto our feet okay and then i want you to see how I'm pushing my shoulder blades up bring your butt down shoulder blades back down have a nice flat back and see how my heels are forward they're not back here which lifts my bottom up so you want to be able to hold it up shoulder blades back have a nice flat plank there and then hold that now if you're struggling at any time, so if your gut starts to come out a bit, you're just feeling like you need a push up, what I want you to do is just come down on your knees and have a bit of a break, okay? There's no point doing an exercise if you're not working the right muscles. So big breath in, big breath out, then we're gonna come up for another 30. So we push our feet back. So what I want you to think about when you're doing this, is you're activating your quads, activating your glutes, Think about turning your core on, your arms, your shoulders, your whole body's working, even my fingers are gripping the ground, my toes forward as well, okay? So this isn't just a core exercise, we've got our whole body switched on at the same time. Good work. Okay, so that should be a minute or two lots of 30 seconds or three lots of 20 seconds. But if we do our front, we also have to do our side as well. All right, so what I want you to do, bring your elbow down under your shoulder. You don't want it over or under because we don't want to risk injuring our shoulder. I might have to put my feet on the concrete so I don't slip. Okay, so shoulder underneath legs on top of one another. You can use this hand to help push up. Keep this hip nice and straight. So you wanna be really squeezing these ribs in together underneath here. And if you look, oops, at your hips, which is hard to do, you want a straight line from here to here. You don't wanna be folding forward and you don't wanna be leaning too far back. You wanna try and get a nice straight angle, which really is quite tough. Even I find this tough. You can put your arm up if that's easier, behind your head. Try and not to put it back on the ground. Just 20 seconds each side. Pull me down. Oh, ow! My obliques are really quite weak at the moment. Whew. Other side, so same thing again. Elbow underneath shoulder, feet on top of one another. Use this hand if you're long and lanky like me, you need a bit of help getting up, lifting those hips. Oh, this side's a bit stronger. Bring that arm down. Or lift it up, or behind your head. It's up to you. Five. So that is six exercises, all right? You don't want to be out in the gym all day. Something's always better than nothing. So go through those exercises minimum three times. If you want to go four because you're feeling good, go for it. Remember, high reps is great for building the base and endurance in your muscles, especially when you don't have any weight on you. So thanks for joining me and tune in for the next episode.